The 2020 Ford Escape Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to cover all the standard equipment and optional equipment that's available on this titanium trim of the 2020 Ford Escape. So there's a lot of standard equipment on this, so we're going to cover that first, go and walk around it. We'll have timestamps for all that down in the description as well as when we talk about the different packages and standalone options, we'll have prices to those as well. So definitely refer to the uh, description. It'll be a lifesaver for you. You can move around in this video. Uh, when you maybe watch the whole video, you maybe want to go back to parts of it. You're going to be able to do that with a different timestamp. So definitely use that uh, to help you out. And uh, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button so you can make sure other people know that it's a good video and it's gonna actually save it for you as well and add this to your playlist so you can always refer back to it, especially if you're not in the market for a 2020 Ford Escape. So let's go ahead and get started. First, talk about some safety features. Now, as we talk about safety, there is a one feature on the Titanium that you don't see on the S and the SE that's part of safety. Uh, we're gonna talk towards uh, the end about that, but otherwise, same safety features that you might see on the SE. So if you did see that video, then you may wanna go ahead and fast forward and then just back up just a little bit to get that last feature there we're gonna talk about at the end of this clip. But safety is very important. I don't wanna leave it out. If you haven't seen that SE video, I wanna make sure you know all the same safety features that are included on all of your escapes. Uh, first one is, I wanna talk about is your airbag. So dual stage airbag for the driver and front passenger. It'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. And there are sensors underneath those seats that'll uh, let them know that. So it deploys the right size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You do have a driver knee airbag as well that's gonna deploy down and protect you from that steering wheel and that front collision, as well as side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger. And that's gonna deploy a side airbag beside the vehicle there coming out from the side of it. So that way, if you have that side collision, it's gonna deploy it, protect those in the front seat up there. Also safety canopy airbag that's gonna deploy down beside the uh, glass here to protect it from any kind of rollover. It will, will have a rollover sensor as well as it does have advanced track with roll stability control uh, that keeps you on your intended path and help you from uh, having any kind of rollover situation by using a series of brakes around the vehicle to help keep you on your intended path. If you go into that curve a little too fast, or maybe a slick driving road, that's, what, that's where that's going to come into effect there. Now to protect those kids here in the back, we ha do have the child safety locks on these doors. A lot of vehicles have those anymore. Uh, that way those kids uh, can't open those doors when you're driving down the road. Also, you do have the latch system. Again, something that we see in about every vehicle or every vehicle should have this. Lower anchors and tethers for children so where you can securely fasten those, seat, those uh, car seats down into the back of those seats uh, permanently. So you can just leave it in there. And that way you don't have to rely on the seat belt uh, and making sure that it's good and tight down there. Uh, you can take it to your local fire department. They can make sure it's in there securely for you. So great ways to protect you. Airbags all around it, uh, protection in the back. Also, while you're driving on the road, there's some ways to avoid accidents as well. And the first one to talk about as part of the Copilot 360 is the, the pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection. And it also comes with automatic emergency braking. The way that works is if there's, you're going a little, you're going down the road and someone's going slower than you or they're stopped and they maybe haven't turned yet, uh, it'll use a series of uh, message on the dash and tones that you need to hit your brake. And if you don't, it's going to initiate that brake for you and even detects those pedestrians. What's great about that is let's say maybe you're still uh, with that because they're stopped and you're going so fast, you still maybe have that accident. There's also post collision braking as well that's going to help break that if you don't get over to the brake before you have that collision it's going to go ahead and hit that brake for you for that post collision braking so great ways to protect you and there's some other great features as part of the copilot 360 we'll talk about when we get to the front and to the side of the vehicle uh, but the one feature that is new for the that's part of the titanium trim that you don't see on the other trims that's standard equipment is the because it does have the copilot 360 assist plus that includes the evasive steering assist. So if you maybe that car darts out in front of you and the system doesn't have time to brake because it comes out real quickly, uh, you can, if you need to turn and, uh, to avoid that accident, it's gonna assist in the turning so you can turn around them a little bit faster and a little bit easier so it uh, just eases that steering so you can uh, steer around them. Now, speaking of that, this does have electronic uh, stability control or EPAS, uh, electronic power assist steering, sorry, uh, and that, that makes it a little bit easier for when you're in those parking lots. It'll just make that steering real easy for you, but when you get on the highway, it's gonna stiffen up. So it's kind of speed sensitive there. And so that way, especially in Kansas, that wind doesn't push you from side to side when you're going down the highway. So E-Pass is a great feature that's included on all of your uh, 2020 Ford Escapes. 
Now, as we move to the front, a couple things I want to uh, talk to you about, and that is that the titanium trim is where you can get the hybrid engine. And we're actually going to break these out into two different videos. Uh, our hybrid, our titanium hybrid, will be in a separate video than this one here. So let's uh, just kind of talk more about the gas engine here and the drivetrain that's available. It is only going to be available in your all-wheel drive for the titanium, and it's going to come with a 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine. In fact, let's go ahead and pop the hood as we talk about the numbers so you can see underneath the hood. And something special about this hood, I did point this out in the SE video. I love what Ford's done, just a little touches that are kind of cool. When you pop the hood, you don't have to worry about following that, that or trying to find that yellow latch. So you just pull this lever down here twice. Pull it once, it pops it. Pull the second time, it releases a little bit more as you can see on that. And so then you can just kind of go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to pull it from the side just so you can see that I'm not touching anything in the front. There is no lever to worry about. You do have to have this little support arm up here to kind of put it into place so you can see underneath there. But you have no latch to worry about under here. Trying to find, you know, and squeeze your hand in there or anything. Uh, that's just a little touch that I, I think is really cool that Ford's done uh, for the Escape here for 2020. And that's a standard equipment on all your Escapes. Uh, and then in here is your 2.0 liter engine. Now it's going to come with your 8-speed automatic transmission. Also going to come with auto start-stop technology. And it's going to come with your paddle shifter. So let's talk about all those. This engine is going to have 250 horsepower, 280 pound-feet of torque. So pretty good amount of power in here. Uh, and this 2.0 liter is the uh, highest engine other than getting if you go with the, uh, the, or the hybrid engine, of course. So you're going to have that. 8-speed automatic transmission is going to help it shift and perform really well, so the numbers are a little bit higher than they were for the 2019, I believe. And uh, the auto start-stop just allows you to, when you pull up to the stop light or stop sign, it's going to shut, shut the vehicle off. When you release from the brake, it's going to turn it right back on. So a lot of people are, are indifferent on that. Uh, I think it works really good. Um, sometimes if it's really hot or really cold and you need the air conditioning going, it will not run it. So it'll, it'll know that it needs to keep that temperature up and it'll continue to run the vehicle. But I think it works well. But if you want to deactivate, it's real easy to do. It's going to be actually probably right where your hand's going to be positioned. There's four buttons there. It's going to be positioned there, little A with the, uh, the circle around it. Just press it and it deactivates that feature for that trip. You will have to, you know, when you turn it on, you'll have to do that each time. But real easy to deactivate, not a big deal there if you want to do that. Paddle shifters allow you, if you want to put it in that sport mode or manual mode, you can do that. And then shift it up and down like a manual transmission. Also comes in handy if you're up in the mountains. Uh, you want to downshift, uh, you'll need to use that, put it in that manual mode to be able to do that and use those paddle shifters to shift it down uh, so that you can come down out of the mountain just fine. So again, uh, great performance out of this. And we've seen the 2.0 liter for several years now, so we know what to expect there with this engine. Another thing that's uh, really cool on this, it does have the auto headlamps up here. They are LEDs for the uh, titanium, so LED signature lighting as well. And the automatic feature on those headlights mean they're going to come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. And a little feature that I noticed when I actually shut the headlights off on the vehicle and you turn it off, as soon as you turn it back on, it flips over to auto. So that way you'll make sure, even in the dark, that those headlights will be on. So that way, in case you have it, those turned off, and uh, the sun goes down and you forget to turn your lights on, it's going to, when you shut it off and turn the vehicle on, it's going to already have it in an auto setting for you. LED fog lights as well up here. That is an addition to the titanium trim. Uh, so great features here. Uh, you do have the, uh, the rain sensing wipers, also a feature when you go up to titanium that come, becomes standard equipment. So rain sensing wipers, if you have it one of those intermittent settings, it's going to automatically turn those wipers on. It starts to rain a little faster, it's going to wipe faster. You don't have to adjust it yourself manually. Also up here, you will have front sensing system. In fact, this has the uh, Park Assist 2.0 as standard equipment, includes front sensing system and reverse sensing, as well as uh, parking aid for forward and back. So that's a nice feature to have. The new uh, 2.0 for the Park Assist is a great feature because not only does it, it helps you parallel park your vehicle as well as reverse perpendicular park your vehicle and park out, but it doesn't just take care of the steering. It controls the shifting as well as the gas and the brake for you. Uh, so that's a great feature. You just press a button and it's going to go ahead and do everything for you. I actually did a video on our Explorer with this uh, feature. So if you want to check that out and see how that works as an outside as well as an inside perspective, you can look at that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But in case I don't, you can find it under our how-to videos on our YouTube channel there. So great features there. Uh, here looking at the front of it, you would have this a black in the middle, chrome around the outside, 
Fordham's up here on the top part of that, so it doesn't get in the way of any of this, any air coming in. And you do have the uh, silver skid plate on, painted there in the front as well, uh, just kind of help protect it, but dresses it up a little bit as well up there. So some great features in here. Now let's talk about some other features that I kind of want to put the, to the front of the, uh, this uh, video here and talk about that because as you're driving down the road, these are some features that you're going to notice. And part of the Copilot 360, uh, that you're going to get a standard equipment is you're going to be your lane keeping system. Now lane keeping system uh, just helps you stay in your lane. So what it's going to do is it's going to uh, be able to see those lines and it's going to help keep you in your lane. Also has driver alert feature to go along with that. And not only was it going to alert you when you leave your lane, that's the aid, that's the alert system. But if you want to put it in the aid system, it'll help keep you in your lane and use this torque vectoring and keep you in the middle of your lane there. Also, this does have the Copilot 360 Assist as standard equipment on your titanium tram. So it's going to also include adaptive cruise control with stop and go. So that's a great feature that, that you get when you go to titanium. So the adaptive cruise, if you have it in that setting, it's going to go ahead and adapt your cruise for people that are going slower in front of you. So if you come up behind somebody, it's going to slow you down to go their speed. You won't worry about rear ending them. You don't have to hit your brakes so much. When you pass them or they speed back up, you'll resume and speed back up as well. So even come to a complete stop. So if you get in that metro area type traffic where it's stop and go, uh, sometimes you can get up to 60, but sometimes you get stopped uh, for people, you know, trying to get off the highway. Uh, that's going to help you with that stop and go and you don't have to hit your brakes and use that uh, as often. It'll help with your brakes as well as just a nice convenience feature. So great features here. I think I've covered everything on the front. If I didn't uh, remember to, we'll go ahead and move around to the side. We'll cover some of those as well. Now as I move around to the side, there were a couple things that I did uh, leave out. There's a lot of things to talk about there on the front and when it comes to driver assist features. And one of the things I did forget to talk about is the fuel economy. So fuel economy in these only available in the all-wheel drive and only available with the 2.0 liter unless you go to the hybrid. And so for fuel economy, you can expect about 23 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's pretty good fuel economy, especially on the highway uh, for the 2.0 all-wheel drive uh, titanium uh, vehicle here. So pretty nice, uh, good fuel economy. Also, there's drive modes, our standard equipment on these. So you get five selectable drive modes and you'll just hit that button, uh, those four buttons there in the middle, uh, the one on the, the top to the left, and that's going to switch your drive modes. Of course, you will have a normal mode. You will also have a eco mode. So if you want to save on fuel economy, that would be the mode you want to go into. Then you also have a sport mode. So if you want that more sport drive, you're going to have, it's going to shift a little bit different and give you better fuel and, and, and traction for you. Also, there is a slippery mode. So if you want, uh, if it's raining outside or it's icy outside, make sure you put in that slippery mode. And then there's a deep sand snow mode. And so you'll notice when you shift it to that, it's going to deactivate the traction control and give you a little bit different dynamic driving as well to help you with better traction. So all these drive modes are going to uh, change a few things. It's going to change the gearing and how things, how the vehicle will shift, uh, as well as the traction control and advanced track will be adjusted for those different drive modes to give you those different uh, feel as you're driving the vehicle. So five different selectable drive modes. Let's talk about the side over here. Standard wheel on the titanium trim is this 19 inch uh, wheel here. Nice alloy wheel th with a dark tarnished painted pocket. So real nice upgraded uh, luxury wheel here. You do have for your mirrors, body colored mirror cap here. You will have turn signal indicator right there as well. Uh, black molded in down here. That's just if anything gets kicked up, it's going to protect it down there. Power heated glass as well on this. Standard equipment on these, on all your escapes though, is going to be your Bliss. It's a blind spot information system with crash traffic alert. That's part of the Copilot 360 that's going to come uh, be on every vehicle anymore on all the Ford vehicles. So the Bliss, the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up supermarket, stores, driveways, if you're backing the vehicle up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. Puts a message on the dash telling them to come from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So uh, I love this system and how that works. Sometimes it gets real busy. A lot of people walking behind you or, you know, driving real fast down your street, something like that. And that bliss uh, with the cross traffic alert is a nice lifesaver there for you. So uh, you're going to have that. Intelligent access allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket. In fact, let's talk about the keys real quick first. This does have keyless entry with this. Also, remote start is standard equipment 
on your titanium so you can remote start it here as well as I'll tell you about another way you can remote start the vehicle from your phone in just a little bit. Uh, there's another button in there we'll get to when we get to the back of the vehicle. You probably can figure that out but also the key is inside here. So you just press the button down here in the bottom. You can uh, take the key out so you need to get inside. So maybe the battery dies on this or maybe it dies on the, uh, the car itself. It may not use intelligent access as we're going to talk about in just a little bit. You always have that key to be able to get in there, fail safe, and then you can pop the hood to uh, charge the battery, of course, or jump the battery. Intelligent access, access allows you to just be able to leave that keys in your pocket, purse, whatever it might be. Walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle, allow you to get access into the vehicle. Uh, also, you can have keypad entry here too, and that comes in handy if you want to leave the keys inside or maybe you want to just grab something out of the vehicle, uh, have the kids or something, they know the code, you can uh, have your own special code there you can press and you can actually change this code. There's a master code, uh, but all you have to do is go into the screen if you're in the vehicle and have it running and you can change your door code and program it to a five digit code of your own uh, right there in that real nice and easy to get to under the settings screen. So, and then you'll notice it does uh, disappear after a little while as well. So kind of that invisible keypad. So uh, I like to use it to get in and out of the vehicle, leave the keys in it, that kind of thing. Chrome accent around the windows, just get a nice touch for the uh, titanium trim. You will have your black roof rack rails up here that is molded in black up there, so just give it a nice little sport utility look. And you'll notice the molded in black here on the lower rocker molding, as well as the wheel lip moldings here. That kind of protects that from any kind of rocks and such. It sits a little higher, it is an SUV. You might want to go camping, take it off in the gravel roads or something. It will hopefully protect that from rock chips and such, so that way you don't chip up the paint on the vehicle, and that's the, the purpose of that. Uh, also privacy glass in these back windows as well as the back glass keeps a little bit cooler for everyone inside looks nice on the vehicle as well and you will have acoustic laminated glass on this front windshield making it a little bit quieter for your titanium as well it's an upgrade when you go to titanium and the easy fuel cap is Philidor standard equipment on a lot of vehicles anymore but it's a great feature you don't have a, a cap to worry about losing leaving behind uh, you hear that roll off as you take off from the gas station because you left it on top of your vehicle. You just uh, open that up, put the, that nozzle in there, fill it up when you're done, go ahead and shut it. Uh, real nice and easy to use. Uh, you don't really have to worry about anything. There is a double uh, door in there, so that way you, there's an outer door as well as an inside lever that has to be opened and the nozzle has to be just that right size so you, to get in there. So great uh, features here on the side, but let's go ahead and move to the back. Now as we move to the back, this is going to have a body colored rear spoiler up here, high gloss black pieces right here as well as rear defrost with rear wiper. So you're going to be able to keep that free of any kind of uh, debris or back there, ice or, or snow or anything like that. LED tail lights back here as well as your backup lights. So a real nice look to it. I love how they're kind of curved around so you can see it from even the sides a little bit. And you do have your escape back there on the back of the lift gate. Rear view camera, as we mentioned earlier, reverse sensing, that's all part of the uh, systems that are available for you. Uh, the reverse sensing uh, with the uh, sensors that are going to help you with backing up the vehicle and also included as part of that uh, Park Assist 2.0 there. Titanium badging on the back as well as your EcoBoost all-wheel drive back there too. Tow package is going to be standard equipment, all your all-wheel drives, uh, or at least to, to have this for the, this, let's say it's included with this. Uh, the uh, hybrid is not is a little bit different, so you're going to have the uh, tow hitch receiver, as you can see down here. You do have your four-pin wiring as well down there, and you're going to have your trailer sway control. So you, that way you can tow, I think, up to about 3,500 pounds with this vehicle here. So real nice look, molded in black with the sensors on there, silver uh, rear skid plate like the front one, dual exhaust under there as well. Now this does have your power lift gate, and I believe maybe even a hands-free lift gate. Let's give it a kick and get in the snow. Hands-free lift gate too, so foot activated. The hitch doesn't get in the way. Just I always tell people go just to the left or the right. It's just a straight kick straight back. In fact, you can use it to shut the tailgate as well. Uh, so you don't wave it around, don't come from an angle, just a straight kick forward and back, and you're gonna be able to shut that just fine. So let's go ahead and let it latch and then do it again, and we'll go ahead and open that up. So in here in the back, I did uh, take the liberty to go ahead and, and adjust the seats because now for the 2020, that second row seat can move forward and back. So right now, as you can see in here, as you're looking in the cargo room, that smaller side over there went ahead and slid forward so you have a good idea of the room that you have on that side. So you can slide them both forward or one or the other, uh, whatever is your choice there. Uh, so carpeted on the top, if we pull this up, you're going to see the spare tire in there. So you do get a, a mini spare and that is an alloy. So you can have uh, a real nice uh, mini spare in there. 
You do have also a cargo management system in here. You can see the funnel. So if you do run out of gas, you'll need to use that funnel to get in the vehicle uh, to be able to get gas in there. And then uh, little areas to put some things in. Maybe some, hopefully big enough, you can put some, your uh, jumper cables in there or smaller things in here so you can store them in there. And that way you don't have to take away from your cargo area uh, whatsoever. So you can just kind of fold that up and put it there if you want to, or you can take it out to make it easier. There's hooks here, so if you want to tie some things down, you can. There's also some little uh, bag hook over here on the side and little compartments to put some smaller things in there. And then you also have a 110 outlet back here. The 60-40 split bench seat, those seats can lay forward. You can lay those down. It won't give you a flat load level, but it uh, like still lays them down so you can slide things in over them if you need to for extra storage. And it's going to come also with carpeted mats for the first and second row. Uh, for these uh, vehicles and we'll talk about some different optional uh, floor mats as well that you can get for the vehicle when we get to accessories. Now moving to the interior. Uh, I love these in interior on these titanium. There's two different color interiors for you. You have your ebony like you're seeing with this particular vehicle where it's ebony on the dash as well as the lower part of that. The seats, the console, uh, everything's ebony. Real nice wood trim, a dark wood trim that goes across the dash as well as you're going to see that on your doors too. Uh, now that wood trim is going to be the same no matter what color you go with because there's a second option for you and that's your sandstone with ebony. So you're going to see some ebony accents but then you're going to see sandstone uh, I believe down at the bottom as well. I uh, don't have one in that color in stock. Uh, should be down in the bottom as well as your seats are going to be that sandstone as well. So that tan uh, interior there for you. So different, two different options for you no matter which way you go. Also, I'm going to get a, a close-up of the dash. You can see that, the, the wood trim on the doors as well as the leather wrap steering wheel that's on this, the wood trim that goes across there, some high gloss black finish in some spots as well, uh, and then your console too. So it looks uh, real nice. The console here actually has a different finish. So I'll try to get a close-up of that. Real nice uh, finish to it and tactile experience that I think you really enjoy. So it's kind of a, a black, but it has some, some nice, uh, it's kind of a wood, a black wood here and just a nice feel just right here on the console itself where you're going to be touching uh, and putting your hands most of the time here with the cup holders and your shifting and everything right here. Leather trim seats in here. So this is an upgrade form from your ActiveX to your leather when you go from the SEL to the titanium. Uh, you do have heated seats up here for the driver and front passenger. You also have a 10-way power adjustable seat for the driver, including your power lumbar. And then the passenger will have a six-way uh, adjustable, adjustable seat for them as well up there. So you can see the real nice and easy to adjust them. In fact, I have this one back a little bit further than the front seat, up there, the, the passenger seat. Now in the back, you do have the 60-40 split bench seat, leather trimmed as well back there. You do have an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest back there. And you'll see uh, the kind of adjustment that 60% or that 40% side is all the way forward. So you can kind of see some of that leg room. And that's what this seat, not all the way up. Uh, as well as far as you can uh, have it. Uh, lots of leg room up here for the uh, driver or for the front passenger. We could even bring that seat up just a little bit and still have plenty of room with that seat moved up. But you'll see how much leg room you have when the seat is clear back in the back position on that 60% side back there, giving you plenty of leg room. And I have pretty good leg room. I'm almost six feet tall, uh, about 5'11". And I have, I'm easily touching these, these pedals, even probably back a little bit uh, from it. And uh, you can get plenty of uh, room back there for, for even taller people behind those seats uh, that way as well. So real nice there. You do have a 110 outlet behind the console, so you can plug in different devices, cell phones, that kind of thing. Uh, you do also have vents back there for the air conditioning and the heat to come back to the back for that rear seat. Here in the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches right here, easy to access. Driver memory for the driver memorizes that seat as well as your mirror switches there. You do have a leather wrap steering wheel as I mentioned earlier. You do have manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So the steering wheel can go up and down, forward and back. And as you can see, I, was, I can move this back if I need to, to move that seat up and give those in the back even more leg room back there, which is just, uh, just outstanding. Uh, here on the steering wheel, the left side, there's a lot of controls over here. You do have your cruise control. The adaptive cruise, con cruise control, that left button on the top is where you control that gap right there. Uh, and then you, you have those uh, different adjustments there. Below that is your audio controls. Raise and lower the audio as well as even mute it right there below the chrome uh, uh, accent right there. To the right is where you can control your information on that productivity screen. So real nice productivity screen as you can see right there. Uh, nice and, and dynamic, a nice LCD productivity screen that you can see your different drive modes. And as you change those drive modes, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but it does change the look 
of what that is right there. So you kind of know what drive mode you're in by the, the look of your instrument, your productivity uh, screen right there as well. And gives you a nice dynamic LCD screen to be able to look at here on the titanium. And then the switches down below there are going to control your Bluetooth connectivities uh, right there, making and receiving those phone calls. Push button start positioned right back here. So again, don't have to get the keys out to get in the vehicle or to lock the vehicle when you get out or to start the vehicle. So you can just leave those keys in your pocket right there. Dual zone climate control for the driver and front passenger. You have two different temperatures there. Your heated seat buttons are right there. Also heated steering wheel switches right here. I forgot to mention that you do get heated steering wheel as well. And then you can, uh, very dynamic, being able to easily control that with the different auto settings for your climate right there. Uh, vents are of course located right above that. And then above that, you're gonna see the controls for your audio control. B&O audio sound system on the Titanium with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. It's gonna have HD radio and uh, Sirius, XM tra uh, Sirius XM radio. Also, it's gonna have the touchscreen sync three system. So you got voice and hand recognition system. So you can go ahead and be able to make and receive phone calls. A very dynamic eight inch touchscreen there. Also comes with navigation on your Titanium, a standard equipment. So that's pinch zoom capabilities the Sirius XM traffic and travel link that goes along with that service. I think it's a six year, or a five year, 60,000 miles or something like that for that service, uh, or maybe just a five year plan there for you. And the Sirius XM is a six month, you'll have to get a subscription after that. Uh, so great screen and how everything works. Backup camera is gonna come into view on the screen as well right there. And then up here on the mirror, auto dimming rear view mirror, standard equipment on your Titanium. And then on the visor, you're gonna have garage openers for three different garage doors. Again, standard equipment on your Titanium. Again, these are pretty loaded up uh, with equipment. And then on the overhead console, you do have a sunglass bin up there as well as your lights uh, right there to be able to uh, turn those on and off. Uh, you actually uh, press the button itself and I have the door open so it's not shutting off, but you just press the, the light itself and that's how you turn that on and off. Now let's talk about this console area. A lot of things going on here as well. Uh, you do have a nice open bin to be able to store some things big enough, long enough to be able to put a cell phone in there if you want to. There's a PowerPoint in there and a USB type C. A lot of our phones are coming with the USB Type-C anymore. Uh, it will charge a lot faster doing it that way and, and uh, get a lot of more information going to and from the vehicle as well using a Type-C. Uh, here you're gonna have your, uh, your dial shifter right there. And then behind, right behind that is gonna see your, your emergency brake and you're gonna have an auto hold button. So you can press that button and it's gonna hold the brake for you, whether it be at a stoplight that you just wanna rest your foot or maybe you're on a hill and you wanna press that button so that you can transition over to the gas pretty comfortably without feeling like you have to rush it at any point. Four buttons just below that, that's your drive mode is gonna be on the left top button. The left bottom button is your, um, your auto start stop deactivation switch there. To the right, the active park assist button is right there. So you just, that's the button you're gonna press and hold to find those parking spaces as well as take care of all the, the steering, the shifting, the gas and the brake. And then the button below that is where you can deactivate your reverse sensing system. So if you're backing up to a trailer or you're backing up with a trailer, you can deactivate it just by pressing that. Cup holders there to the right with ambient lighting. As you see, they're kind of lighting up there in this clip. So your ambient lighting lights up those cup holders, the footwells, and the door handles. So you can see those easily at nighttime. Change the colors on those through the touchscreen settings right there. It's going to be really dynamic for you. And then let's talk about this console. Padded armrest for those on the outside in the, in the front seat up here, but you can open that up. You're gonna have another USB, you're gonna have a USB port in there so you can power different devices that way as well. So whether you have a type C, a USB or a PowerPoint or even an regular outlet, you're covered in this vehicle. And then there's also a little holder for pin there and slots for those cords to come through. So you can plug in the USB port, have the cord come through, Put your cell phone up there in the, the front uh, uh, console area out of the way and you're uh, powering your device. So really nice equipment in here. Also, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is standard equipment on all of your escapes and that is your Ford Pass Connect. Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download, you connect your vehicle up uh, with embedded modem, you register that your vehicle and that way you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, you can unlock and lock your vehicle, uh, find your vehicle in those busy um, uh, parking lots at the game, uh, stadium, you don't remember where you parked, you can locate your vehicle that way as well. Uh, airport when you come out, you forgot on your trip where you parked your vehicle, uh, a lot of the features that way you can locate your vehicle. And that's where you're gonna see your Ford Pass rewards. 
So now you're going to have a reward program set up. When you first purchase your vehicle, you get enough reward points that you can uh, pay for two free oil changes or tire rotations pretty easily with that. Or you can use it for accessories or for your next purchase. So they are for loyalty rewards. Every time you go in for service, you'll get more reward points uh, when you spend money at a Ford dealership. Uh, or on a Ford vehicle, so a uh, great way to be able to uh, Ford be able to give that back to us and reward us for purchasing vehicles and servicing our vehicles at Ford dealerships. So I uh, hope you enjoyed all the standard equipment, but we're not done. We have a package I want to talk to you about as well as some standalone options. So now I want to talk about some optional equipment. The first one I want to talk about is the packages available on the titanium trim. It includes two features on it, one that we've never seen before on the Escape. So the first feature as part of this package is going to include the panoramic vista roof. So it is going to be the Powers sunshade along with the glass roof that can open up. So a lot of people like that. It will still include these crossbars over here, uh, so, but or I mean the side rails, but cannot have the crossbars. So crossbars are something that we're going to talk about um, some optional accessories. Uh, but that would not be available with this when ordered from the factory. You can always get the crossbars afterwards. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But parent rigs of roof also is a standalone option. So it can be ordered as a standalone option if you don't want the other features part of this package and don't want to pay for that. And the other features part of this uh, premium package is going to be the heads up display. Never seen before on the Escape. In fact, we have really never seen it on a Ford vehicle uh, before now. So we're starting to see it on the, uh, some of the other vehicles now. We've seen it in some of the Lincoln products, but never before on a Ford product. Escape is going to have it. So heads up display, it's going to put it up and cast that up on the, on the glass there. So you're going to be able to see uh, the different uh, information on your vehicle, including navigation. So it looks very impactful. Uh, really almost looks like that's sitting there on the road for you and really easy to be able to see. Uh, I believe you can even move that up and down. We don't have a vehicle with that in stock uh, right now. And so you can move that. I believe you can move it up and down, left and right, and angle it just right uh, to where you can see it uh, really nicely, even during the daytime. So uh, very nice heads-up display as part of this package. The only way you can get the heads-up display, it's not a standalone option, is with this package. Now we're going to talk about some standalone options. We're going to break these into two parts. We're going to the factory installed ones and then some accessories that can be ordered from the factory and they'll be shipped to the dealership. The dealership will install them. Uh, we're calling those uh, factory installed uh, accessories or you can also get accessories afterwards at your Ford dealer. So we'll break that out and talk about that when we get to accessories. But we have three features we want to talk about that have to be ordered from the factory if you want those. Uh, well, two of the three. Uh, so let's first talk about that panoramic vista roof. Kind of referenced that just a little bit ago. That is a standalone option. Uh, if you don't have to get the premium package, it's included in that package, but you can get it as a standalone option uh, for you. Of course, you cannot get the crossbars from the factory uh, with, in combination with a panoramic vista roof. Again, don't forget power sunshade in that glass that opens up for you. Uh, real nice, impactful uh, roof that way. Also, as a standalone option, you can get the engine block heater. So if you're in a state that's really cold a lot of the time of the year, an uh, engine block heater kind of helps out, especially if you keep your vehicle outside, to be able to plug your vehicle in, keeping it so that it'll start up real easy uh, in the morning. So engine block heater, we see that in those, uh, those northern states if you order those. And then the front license plate bracket. Now, that is something that if you're in a state that requires a front tag, it'll be standard equipment. It'll come with your vehicle. But if you're in a state like Kansas that does not require it, it is a, it's an optional equipment, but it's a no charge option. We do recommend you get it from the factory. They ship it with the vehicle and the dealership installs it, but the dealership cannot charge you when it is ordered on your vehicle that way. If you go ahead and get it afterwards, and a lot of times the dealership will install like a half hour labor or something to put, the, to put it on and probably charge you for the license plate bracket. So uh, if you think you might want something, a personalized tag up there uh, and as optional equipment, you might want to go ahead and order this on your vehicle. Now let's talk about some ways to add some accessories to your Escape because if you're going to use it for some different things, you might want some of these. First one to talk about is the wheel locking kit. So uh, wheel, lo wheel locking lug nuts, you'll only get four lug nuts that are locking with the, the wrench that goes with it. You would uh, take off one of the others and put it on. A lot of times that is ordered with your vehicle when you, if you order it from the factory and the dealer will usually, a lot of times we leave it in there and let you put it on if you want to. Uh, if, it's a, if it's one that we order, if it's one that you order for yourself, we'll go ahead and, and do that for you. Uh, especially if you want to protect those wheels. Uh, it depends on where you might live. That might be a great addition for you. Or if you want to order some different wheels for the vehicle and th that cost more money, great way to protect it that way. Splash guards also, they're saying that's a late availability when ordered it and put on at the factory. But if you order it right now, it looks like it's going to be shipped to the dealership and the dealership would install that for you. So splash guards go on there. 
comes in handy if you live on dirt roads or if you go off-roading a lot. Uh, that might be something you might want to add to your vehicle. The crossbars, as we mentioned, is not available from the factory if you order it with the premium package or the Panoramic Vista roof, but you can get it from your aftermarket and put it on. So something to keep in mind. I assume probably because they're afraid that it's going to get in the way of the moonroof itself. Uh, so just uh, keep in mind if you do get those and you put them on after you get your vehicle, that's something to keep in mind there. All weather mats, uh, what they call them floor liners, you can put those in the vehicle. Still get your carpeted mats, but if you order these from the factory, a lot of times they'll ship that to the dealership or with a vehicle, and then you can go ahead and install them or have the dealership put them in place. Uh, protect the floor wells, uh, the foot wells in the front, as well as the rear seat back there, especially if you have a lot of snow, mud, rain, that kind of thing, might be something you might want to order. Couple things for the rear cargo area. Uh, carpet, a cargo mat. So again, if you put a lot of things back there, plan to, you can get a cargo mat and that can protect that rear cargo area for you. Also a rear cargo sunshade or a shade back there. So it's gonna go back there, protect it. So if people wanna look back there, you, you can put your belongings in there and know they're kind of protected so people don't know what you have in there and maybe hopefully you know, have, cause, uh, keep them safe back there with that sunshade. So a couple of accessories can be added to the vehicle. Some of those are saying late availability and I think that means if, the, if they ordered at the factory because they're wanting to get some of these out. But a lot of times I think if you order them from the factory, they'll be you know, sent to the dealership and the dealer should put them on like those splash guards or the crossbars up here uh, as well. So some great accessories to add to your escape. So let's talk about the factory warranty. Three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a four year, 50,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So pretty standard about all your vehicles. They really haven't changed that for 2020 model year. Uh, and so you can uh, check that out. Now, where can you find some escapes? Of course, there's four dealerships all over the country starting to receive those. We have a couple of titaniums in ourselves. You can go to our website, lawmacarthur.com, and you can see all of our inventory there. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures. Uh, even pull up the window stickers on the vehicle so you can see those, what, how they were equipped, standard equipment, as well as any optional equipment added, like we added the all-weather mats to this particular vehicle. Uh, you can see that on those window stickers and how that will reflect the price on this one. So this one here actually uh, was ordered with the Star White, which was an additional cost, and the all-weather mat. So it started off at about 36 six plus 720 uh, in options. So uh, uh, Ford does charge you $1,100 to get it delivered to the dealership. So you're somewhere right around that 38 price range on these vehicles. Uh, there's a national discount on this one. So it gives you a good idea of maybe where these are gonna start right around that 36, $37,000 range before any kind of rebate. So uh, also don't forget you can call or send us a text message 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316 if you want to check out and talk to one of our coordinators about maybe locating one or even ordering one for yourself definitely reach out to us and we can help you out with that. Now hopefully you did see earlier in this video uh, where we had something about free shipping information and we've had a lot of uh, customers uh, want to work with us. They live outside of our market area and uh, they love to get a vehicle from us because they watched this video and said, man, I want to get a vehicle from that dealership because it seems like they really know what they're talking about and I want to make sure I get the correct vehicle ordered the way I want to and I think this dealership can do it for me. but." They're too far away, it doesn't make sense. We'll do free shipping for you, up to $1,000. We'll ship it to you, right to your door. We can do everything by FedEx, uh, even a lot of it anymore, through the internet, and take care of everything for you and have it delivered right to your door. And if it's close enough, we can even deliver it on one of our trucks here, uh, right to your door. So great way to really uh, purchase a vehicle. We have a lot of people taking advantage of that. Uh, so it's a great way to get a vehicle priced, that, you know, equipped the way you want it to, ordered correctly in the right color and scheme, and have it delivered right to your door. So take advantage of that. Give us a call or send us a text message, 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. First time watching one of our videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. That way you can subscribe to our YouTube channel with some great Ford, Lincoln, and aftermarket uh, product videos. You can also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. We upload about a couple every, every other day or so. Uh, so definitely see some great content there. Don't want to miss out on anything. Hit that notification bell. Smash the like button as well. Let's other people know it's a great video they need to watch. Helps out the video. Let's uh, people know that this is a video they probably need to watch if they're interested in the Ford Escape product. So definitely do that. And share this to anybody that you maybe want to. 
add it to your playlist, do all those things, and uh, that way you can get all that information to your friends and even and have this saved for you as well if you're looking for information and want to uh, review back to this video. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget you can find us on social media, find out what we have going on here at the dealership uh, at any time. Or we're on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, you can find us at Law MacArthur on any one of those. Uh, so definitely uh, you know, go ahead and follow us there and see what we have going on at the dealership uh, outside of these product videos. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Till the next one, we'll see you later.